All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to cover seven completely free Amazon product research tools that you can start using today for free. And as a special uh, bonus, I'm going to have something very, very special for those of you who watch all the way to the end of this video. I promise it's going to be worth your time and um, it's really going to benefit um, especially 50 of you. Uh, and I'll talk about that later. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this now without any extra fluff. So we all know that more data is better than less data. But why don't we or so many other Amazon sellers put this into practice when researching products to sell online or to sell on Amazon, right? Because what most uh, new sellers do is they'll use one tool like Helium 10 Viral Launch or Jungle Scout uh, and, and just look at the opportunity score or look at certain metrics or data within that tool only uh, and they use that to base it and make a decision and that is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea um, and you'll see why kind of throughout this uh, and basically throughout the video I'm just going to kind of quickly cover um, one, you know, what the tool is and then B kind of, um, how it, how it works and how you can kind of use it really, really, uh, as a brief overview. So you can decide whether you want to use it or not. Um, but like I said, you always want to use multiple tools to gather multiple data points because more data is better than less data. And what's great is you don't have to pay for a bunch of tools to do that. Like other people will tell you, they'll say, Hey, you have to buy a bunch of tools. Here's the affiliate links. No, we're going to talk about seven free tools that all have different specific data points. And again, I'm going to tell you how it ties in and how you sh should be using it for your, um, Amazon FBA business or launch a product on Amazon or really anything for that matter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first tool. Number one, eGrow. Egro is a paid Amazon product research tool. Okay, I'm sorry, I know I'm going a little bit fast. Paid product research tool for Amazon that um, you can get a free trial to, okay? So the reason I'm recommending this and I'm kind of, you know, saying this is a free tool is because you can get in the free trial uh, or the free version of Egro, which has a lot of really great benefits, okay? Make sure you get the free trial. It may change in the future in terms of what's available or not, but honestly, Egro's free uh, trial is better than most other tools out there, which is why I'm talking about it, right? So you do not have to pay for it. Just, you know, I'm not going to give you an affiliate link for it. Just, um, you can use the free trial um, or the free version of this tool and kind of see what your availability is within the tool. And then you can combine that with some of the other tools that I mentioned here. And then together that can, you know, for totally free, potentially, um, you can gather a lot of really great um, data for your uh, Amazon product, okay? So that's what the tool is. Um, here's some uh, access that you'll have. Again, things may change in the future, but as of right now with the free trial, you will have uh, you know limited access to this in terms of number of daily uses or weekly uses or something like that, but it's still very, very valuable and it's free. So there's no reason not to do it. Um, you have the on the top left here, uh, the Chrome extension. If you're not familiar with Chrome extensions or web apps, if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say that, I have videos talking about Helium 10, Viral Launch. These are tools that, and guys, by the way, Viral Launch, Helium 10, Jungle Scout, Egro, AMZ Scout, or AMZ Discover, I forget what it's called, but all of these tools work very, very similarly. So if you use one tool and you know how to use one tool, you will likely know very, very easily how to use all these other tools. So I have videos going in depth in case you want to know. If not, uh, if you're already familiar, then let's keep moving forward. Uh, try to keep this as concise for everybody as possible because I know I can ramble on sometimes. So top left, Chrome extension, bottom right, you have the web app. Basically what the Chrome extension does is you open up, you type in like product keywords, for example, like silicone rings onto Amazon. And then you click the Chrome extension and it shows you all of this data like revenue, um, sales, et cetera, right? Some really uh, important data. It estimates, you know, uh, different metrics for you to give you an understanding of, hmm, you know, how, how much demand is there for this product or you know, how much competition is there, et cetera. The bottom right, um, this is the web app. And what you can use this for is basically inputting certain criteria. Like I want to see... Uh, products in on the Amazon catalog in the baby category that are between 15 to $30 with X number of reviews, blah, blah, blah. And you input this criteria and then eGrow is going to spit back out this criteria uh, or these products that meet the criteria that you typed in. Again, I have videos on this in case that sounds confusing, but pretty straightforward if you've used any kind of product research, uh, Amazon specific product research tool before. So that's number one. And guys, bear with me. I have some other ones that are, there's no free trials. They're just completely free. So uh, let's go ahead and get into number two, which is the Helium 10 Chrome extension. Helium 10 is a suite of tools that mostly are paid. Um, but two things, one Helium 10 has a Chrome extension. That's completely free, uh, completely again, could change in the future, but for right now, uh, I would highly recommend uh, using this. It's free to do. Um, and this is kind of what the landing page looks like. And with the Chrome extension, what you kind of have access to is, uh, looking at a competitor's price point and their change in pricing over time, their change in, um, BSR or best sellers rank. And this is actually a really ugly uh, graph. I probably should have picked a better one. Um, but as you can see here, right, the blue line represents price point and how it changes over time. So if you see, you know, uh, 
multiple products within a certain category and they're all slashing and all their pricing is going down over time maybe that's not a, a category you'd want to enter right or if you see that everyone's bsr everyone's getting lower and lower and lower um or, or there's some you know there's some big competitors then you know you can use that either the bsr the best seller rank to estimate revenue or you can use the bsr um for other you know depending on you know what other uh data you're, you're thinking of or, or want to look at like uh, like level of competition things like that but again um you can again i have videos going into depth on this i, I don't want to go into too much depth but this is completely free and then one side note i want to make is that helium 10 also has an awesome free trial okay again it's similar to egro to where you only get a certain number of uses for each of their tools so they have you know a chrome extension they have a web app uh, they have keyword research tools they have a whole bunch of different types of tools and you get free access to all those but it's limited access so use egro and helium 10 together because they each have limiting access but when you combine all the free tools together um they can kind of you know potentially be sufficient for you depending on what your objectives are okay so sign up for the free trial it's totally free you get access to the chrome extension you know no no um no limits there and then you also have access to their other tools with limitations okay so i just want to kind of call that out i use their free uh their their free tools all the time because sometimes i don't want to pay for a monthly subscription if i'm not if i'm in a season where i'm not really using it as much so i don't want to pay for it so i'm going to use some of these free trials so you know i like to practice what i preach um and yeah so anyway healing 10 that's number two number three uh super excited about this one answer the public what is this what i've never heard about this before you know you probably haven't so answer the public is a reverse search engine um and i'm going to tell you how it's used for product research so it's a reverse search engine which basically means that instead of you know you typing in a question into somewhere like google or bing or yandex or whatever right so you type in a question then you get answers this is you type in an answer well you type in a keyword and then you get questions so instead of typing in a keyword and getting answers you get questions now you're probably super confused like what the heck does that mean or why is that even relevant or valuable well i typed in the term oh, let's go back one I, as you can see here in the middle this is free to use by the way there are a limited number of daily uses but it is completely free so it's free um just be mindful of that uh type i typed in the term silicone ring and then answer the public showed me all of these different um words or questions associated with the term silicone ring for example i'm over here in the width so so it kind of pulls like search data from google and other search engines uh that when people type silicone ring and then the the, the word with it shows commonly searched phrases and as you can see uh in the bottom portion there's kind of a darker green circle and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter the darker green shows more uh common so for example if i wanted to sell it if i you know was interested hmm i may want to sell a silicone ring on amazon uh, or online uh, i type in the term into, into answer the public and then i see that you know silicone ring with stone with cross silicone ring with engraving with a flag with a gem with trees with waves with fish right with deer so that can help you differentiate your product and basically ultimately create your product because you may see oh people are typing in let's say silicone ring with a cross but there are no options on amazon for a silicone ring with a cross so i can be the first seller to do that and that's it's crazy it's free no other seller is doing this and it's very very powerful so i definitely recommend and i would take this a step further so this is a really great place to kind of start and this kind of helps you again give you some more data points um the next step i would take is once i use this tool this is what i like to do i like to use another free tool that's called google keyword planner so this is number four uh, the fourth free amazon product research tool google keyword planner you will need to create a google ads account to access this tool uh, and again I'll, I'll try to include links to all this and, and timestamps and everything in the description there's a lot of other great stuff in the description so be sure to check that out as well you have to create a free account with google ads um and then you'll have access to the google keyword planner which is free um and basically what google keyword planner does is kind of like with you know with answer the public you type in a keyword and it gives you some results it shows you some similar you know other keywords same idea so in this case i type in the term leather sofa and then it shows me terms that are related like sofa sofa bed etc right and there's a huge list so it shows me other similar terms it shows me the average uh, monthly searches for those terms and the level of competition okay um really i i what i like to really focus on guys is the um keyword so the relevant keywords as well as the estimated search volume now yes there are other paid google keyword tools specifically that are that are going to give you a lot more data and uh as well but um but again this is really great to start off with especially when you're doing product research and you're not trying to you know necessarily um seo optimize a website or, or things like that um so so very powerful so what i'd like to do is use answer the public i type in a keyword and i see you know silicone ring with crosses i'm like oh that's an interesting idea so i write down silicone ring with deer with crosses with all this stuff 
Then I go and I go to Google Keyword Planner, which is free. I type that term, the, each of those terms in. And then I see, okay, so for example, if I typed in, you know, silicone, uh, uh, silicone ring with cross, I want to see how, what are the monthly searches? Does it have a lot, like, you know, more toward 10 to 100,000? Or is it really, really low, like less than 100? If it's less than 100, again, maybe not. Um, but again, I, you know, it depends on your criteria. And, um, you know, obviously the more demand generally comes with more competition. So it might be more difficult to compete. So you maybe want to go for one of those lower um, search volume keywords. And again, I have whole videos and I have an entire, you know, $20 uh, Amazon FBA course that's like 18 hours that and I have a huge section where I cover uh, this specifically and if you're interested in that by the way like I, it, I say this in all my videos it's, it's in the description of my video um, and I go into depth about analyzing competition versus demand but again if you just want to know about the tools which is the purpose of this video um, I think I've said enough so uh, so yeah so I like to use this uh, free tool uh, to to just see what other what are some other related keywords that maybe you know this could help me differentiate like oh I want to sell a silicone ring so I type it in here as well just see what are the other keywords as well as um, overall demand the more keyword searches that are every month the more demand the less keyword searches the less demand right so pretty straightforward okay so that's number four number five is the AMZ Scout uh, Chrome extension calculator I know that's a mouthful and this is kind of what it looks like again it's similar to helium 10 in the sense that it's a chrome extension um so this is completely free you just uh you don't even need to sign up or anything like that you can just add it to your chrome extension i'll have a link to that below i'm um, very powerful and basically what it helps you do and what helps me do and of course i'm covering it up so let me just get myself out of the way here for a second maybe i'll just put myself over here okay so basically what um the calculator does is you load a product on amazon uh and then you click on the chrome extension and it's going to kind of estimate uh, and again, this is an estimate. So be sure to actually, before you source a product, make sure you know a hundred percent what your, you know, your product cost is your cost for packaging, for UPC codes, for shipping, um, for, you know, your, your, your specific Amazon FBA fees, right? But this is a really great way just to quickly that I use to get a rough estimate for my pro potential profitability. If it shows me, like if I enter in some data, like, oh, I, I was talking with some suppliers, here's my product cost, here's my, um, price, et cetera. And I see that I, I would not be profitable, then I'm not gonna do this. For example, there was one time I was looking at this product. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was biodegradable plates, I wanna say. And it looked like a good opportunity, but because the competitors had such a, I think they were probably, they had their entire, they were like the manufacturer of this. I could not compete with them in terms of price point. Like their, their price was way too low. Like if I, if I would even go close to that price point, I would not be profitable. And it, this helped me really clearly quickly see without having to waste a bunch of time that that product was, would not be profitable for me. So this is a really great way to get a rough estimate. But again, make sure that you um, rely on Amazon's, you know, that you know your costs and don't just rely on estimates because that's what this is. But it's very, very helpful as well. I use this all the time. Okay. Number six, Google Trends. Google Trends is a free tool to basically where you enter in a keyword. Um, so this could be a keyword that relates to a specific product like camping or camping tent. And then Google is going to show you search interest for that keyword or for that product over time okay for a specific area so basically this is really great to know hey is this product just really trendy like it's re it's, it's just going to trend up and then go right back down to where to where maybe i want to get on this trend and just cash out and you know only ride this trend or you're like i don't want to ride any trends i want a product uh that's going to you know gener potentially generate income or revenue uh, or profit for several you know months or years or whatever to come um, you also, you can use this tool to see, you know, what months is this seasonal, right? Are there certain months that this product is, it has more search interest and then potentially more sales versus other months. And then also, um, is the overall interest increasing or decreasing for this over time? Cause maybe if you type in the word camping, let's say you see camping is, is declining. Hmm. Then maybe that's not a category if you're thinking about the long term that you want to get into because overall interest is declining over time so you know may, maybe it, that, that may not be something you want to get into where you type in a, a category uh, term like eco-friendly and you see that that's increasing then maybe you want to start producing products that are eco-friendly and kind of ride that overall increasing trend okay so th there's just a few different ways seasonality you can see if something's a trend or, or a long lasting um and if the overall uh, demand is increasing or decreasing a really clear example again i have a whole video on this but a, cl a quick example silicone ring i type that in as you can see i selected the united states as my region I, i'm looking at search interest over the past five years and what do you guys see really clear right off the bat right interest in silicone rings on google is overall increasing over time now again this isn't sales from google or, or sales data this is just um search data but there's a high correlation between what people search on on google and what people buy on amazon there's a strong correlation especially when there's um this type of product-based keyword okay 
So this could be a good potential, you know, this is a good sign for me because I see it's overall increasing. If it was the opposite way around, then maybe I wouldn't uh, consider it. And if you also want to refine by the past one year or two years, you can start to see if there are certain months that silicon rings sell more than other months. So you can plan for it uh, in terms of inventory. Uh, and you also know when to time the market. So basically, um, if there's a super low period, you want to get in the market at that time uh, when it's less competitive to ride, right? Or that could be advantageous to you. Anyway, that's getting a little bit too advanced or a little bit too out there. Um, this is a, a number six. And for our last and final tool, as promised, I want to give you guys something very, very special. I saved the best for last. So the, the number seven free Amazon product research tool is Matchsticks. Now you're probably wondering, I've never heard of Matchsticks before. Well, that's because it doesn't exist. Well, not yet. Myself and my team are developing a brand new type of Amazon product research tool that is completely different from every single other product research tool out there. Um, where basically most tools will look at BSR or best sellers rank in order to estimate sales and revenue numbers. What this tool does is uses artificial intelligence. So ver versus just using, you know, certain algorithms or formulas, we're actually going to use, um, a few different types of AI to analyze thousands to hundreds of thousands of Amazon reviews at a single time, uh, to essentially give you, you know, show you product ideas with relatively high demand and low competition, as well as key ways to differentiate based on actual and statistically significant data. So this is going to save you a ton of time. It's going to make you, uh, give you data that you cannot access anywhere else. And the best part is the first 50 members to sign up, I'm going to have a link in the description. So be sure to sign up there. First 50 members to sign up, uh, will get two months to this tool completely free. And if you want to keep, you know, going on, you get a uh, uh, 12 months at 25% off. Right. But I just really want to harp on, you know, the whole point first 50 users get this for free. Okay. Two months completely free. And guys, this is going to be a super powerful tool. I really believe it's going to be a game changer. Uh, really it's free to do. So why not? Uh, link is going to be in the description. Uh, but again, you can use this along with all of the other tools. Uh, our plan is to have this up by January, 2020 is when we really want to have a, a working beta that's w working functioning for all of you guys. I uh, just give you guys some of a time frame. Um, but it's really, really excited for this. And for those of you who like this video, comment and subscribe, there might be something special for you as well. Uh, so feel free to do that if you'd like. If not, no worries. Again, it's all free. Uh, so I really hope you found this video helpful. Again, these are all real tools that I use or will be using with my Amazon FBA business specifically, um, completely free. I hope you guys find it valuable. If you did, just let me know. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, be sure to comment those below and join our Facebook group. And as always, honestly, thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to sign up.